Hello guys, I'm Cosmo and welcome back to SnowRunner. Uh, we'll be picking up exactly where we left off last time. Uh, we have one load of uh, metal beams which we'll be having to deliver up to the quarry here. And from the quarry we'll be taking uh, two concrete slabs and delivering them back to the service hub which is just uh, one stick throw away from uh, our garage here. Um, I'm wondering whether I should probably take... I'll, I'll do probably a run with uh, the Chevrolet at some point, my scout truck, to actually pick up all the all the quests, so make sure we don't have any uh, that we may want to do, because we're in the area, but we can't. Mm. Now let's look for a route. This is a new map for me, I just got on this map uh, in the last episode. And I'm looking for a route up to the quarry. Uh, for sure, well, I'm gonna go via the dam itself because this is entirely horrible. Uh, but I just noticed there's some like fallen rocks here, uh, and that would be that's literally the road I wanted to take. Mm. This is pretty terrible. Uh, so okay, let's uh, let's give it a shot. Maybe maybe there's a a route for me to take around these rocks or something maybe i'm not entirely sure but uh there should be something else uh, that's the only actual big issue the rest of the road seems pretty clear but again i'm new to the map and right now i'm just uh, spitballing i am in my uh, fleet star which is more or less a uh, hauling truck. It can do some of on road but not uh, off road, not a lot of off road. So I'm not gonna th be throwing it in uh, too many uh, sticky situations. Okay, I took on a rock on but let me guess rock on to do needs uh, rock on service spare parts. I don't even want to imagine where I'm... Oh! Oh! From the service hub? Oh! That's a very easy way to clear it up and get some XP. Cool! Let's do this. We have two slots free uh, on trailer itself. Oh, I'm sorry, on the platform. So, uh, this should be pretty neat. We'll clear the road, get some uh, nice XP and carry on with our job finally deliver those uh, metal beams which were such a pain if uh, you guys watched the last episode getting it back on this trailer you think it would it'd be easy but the game's physics had uh, different plans now let's see if I can actually turn here space between these little trees, but uh, I don't think so. Let's try not to uh, not to flip the truck. We don't want to bring out the crane here and put that back again. Let's just winch it back. That's gonna be enough. Okay, now let's clear the winch. Let's uh, winch. Let's winch enough just to get us back on the road. There we go. The 15 point uh, turning. There we go. Now we can go back to business. that uh, I find this map to be a fair bit uh, harder in how it's set up than uh, the Black River which we just came from which is more or less the starting map even though the tutorial itself leaves you off in Alaska it's kind of uh, you know 
kind of get the feel that you shouldn't exactly be there. <laughs> Either that's an option for you if you want to, you know, just start up with an extra challenge. But uh, given that I was relatively new to this series per se, I decided on uh, against it and just stuck to the Black River for a very long time. Pretty much the last 20 episodes of this series. Uh, oh, what? Okay, this is a quest and cool. I'm glad I got it, but I don't need the quest I want to pick up. So. Where do I get the actual pickup for goods here? Okay, let's turn around. That's the time contest, which right now we don't care about. Uh, okay, cool, thanks. I don't care about that. This is what they care about. Okay, cargo management, service parts, FF, and let's go. Ain't no, ain't, ain't no one got time to stop here. Let's clear out that roadblock and carry on our way. Wolf grip. Again, I like how thematic the universe is. I mean, it's it looks. It, kind of feels realistic in a way um, in terms of the world itself and details and stuff like that but I kind of would have wanted the theme just to be a bit deeper maybe I don't know uh, maybe a, bit, a few characters and I, I don't want that exactly a story for my sandbox game uh, or mentioning that but just you know some more ties that have been neat add some more meaning to our hauling. Uh, rock on, great, thank you. Don't expect to be the last of the rock slides. Yes, I'm hoping they won't be. The flood has shifted everything out of kilter. Words, 170 XP and some cash. We are still a ways away from level eight, but that's not a big deal because there's not all that much I'm looking forward to. Okay. Let's uh, head off to this grand new unknown. Okay, I think I should be taking a left here. Yep, a left. Let's stick off of the very horribly muddy ground there. We don't care about that. We don't want that. Let's see if we can stick to... Ooh. Okay. E. Nope, 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 nope. <clears throat> okay, let's parking brake this. Let's do this. Let's put that there and... Okay, stop. Stop. Keep that tied up. Let's do... Uh, okay, where's my cargo? Okay, let's release the winch. Remove cargo. V. Okay, remove cargo. Oh, actually, that removes it. Okay, but that's still unpacked. Uh, okay. Hmm. Okay, all wheel drive. Now let's see if we can get out of there. Well, apparently not. Uh, it's a good thing I avoided that muddy water, right? Oh wow, this is bad. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Uh, let's keep going. Let's get back on the road. Again, that cargo is not secured. So let's see if we can do that before anything else. There we go, pack of cargo. Phew, that was close. We don't want to repeat the experience of the last episode in spending 30 minutes packing this uh, these metal beans back on this trailer. That was not pleasant. So noted, these little ditches here are entire death traps. Remove all your drive, we don't really need it on this very smooth uh, pavement concrete. And 
this has to be the longest straight this stretch of uh and most paved section of road in uh, the entire game it's really what i saw so far there's a trailer park here and this is the dam yeah, this is a very tight corner i'm not really certain if with the bigger semi-trailer we could get around this bend i think we could but it's a bit relatively tight Wow, look at that wonderful view. Ah, no way I can do this any closer? No, I can't. Trailer. Oh, cool! This is a trailer uh, store, so we can only sell the trailers here. Neat. Okay. So where are we? And what are we doing? Uh, we have to go to the quarry, and the quarry is on the other side of this so horrible, horrible situation here. Now, there's a quest here to actually put probably a wooden bridge over this. Oh, let's not get them bogged down. Decided to construct a bridge that will cut out the degraded road and make our route the warehouse shorter and safe. We needed to get the wooden planks out there fast. Okay, so this is uh, wooden planks, right? Two wooden planks. And where's the wooden plank shop here? Oh, it's on the other side. Hmm. And the sad part is that as actually covering the section of road where I may have used to, tr to actually get across, it's blocked by that little tiny project over there. Um, let's do this for the moment. Let's, uh, okay. Let's uh, detach the trailer. Okay, let's see what's up here. Because it's exactly on our way. I guess this is the warehouse that they were mentioning. They wouldn't happen to have wooden planks, would they? That'd be really easy. Bricks, concrete slab, bricks, concrete slab, bricks, concrete slab, concrete slab. Okay. We need concrete slabs for the quest to return, and honestly, I think I might just get them from here instead of uh, hauling them all the way from the quarry, if uh, this warehouse has concrete slabs. Hmm. I guess that makes more sense. Let's unlock this, just because again, we're, we're here. It'll be a terrible job go going over the river, but uh, it has to be done. Okay, stop, attach the trailer, and uh, let's see if we can do this. I think the right side's worse just because we have to cross over some dead trees over there, and that's gonna impede us. Uh, on the left side here, it might be better. Actually, I think it, we may have a, a better job if we were to cross this upstream. Um, we could do the, on the left on the bridge here, but I fear that we have no actual uh, traction points. I kind of fear that. And, uh, okay, let's just give it a shot. Let's go slow and steady. All-wheel drive, differential lock, and go slow and steady. See if we cannot get bogged down. And try not to flip the trailer. That would be fantastic. I said try not to flip the trailer. That would be fantastic. Okay, great. Uh, and nah, for sure, nah. 
Oh, camera bugged down for a second there. Are we even moving in here? Are we making any kind of progress? Or is it just us getting super stuck in mud? I think this is just us getting super stuck in mud. Uh, oh, the camera keeps bugging out. Okay, let's see. Do we have any traction points? Or are we really sh up shit creek? Okay, we have something there. That's some level of uh, dead tree. I don't care as long as it gets us out of this. But at this point, I think we have access to. No, we don't. It's pretty short. Uh, okay, let's do this. Kind of not the truck I might have wanted for this. And for utter sure, the moment we're actually gonna go uh, return via this path, we are not going to take this uh, crossing. Thankfully, again, this heavy truck has a fantastic winch, but again, without that winch, we'd have had uh, serious issues. And God bless that little dead tree there. There we go, come on. Grip that mud, grip that mud, and let's pull it out. To be honest, on the return path, we will probably be returning empty-handed, given that we will be taking the concrete slabs from this warehouse instead of the uh, grabbing them from the quarry. And yeah, that tree is, was actually getting in the wheels, but we got through. Wow, that was not the worst thing I've ever done in uh, SnowRunner, but still. Okay, let's turn back to auto and let's get some speed. Phew. Okay, let's uh, also unlock this again. Might as well if we're here, let's get all the quests so we don't have to end up with them... Uh, unable to actually fully complete them because we haven't picked them up. Okay, let's uh, see... Where's the quarry? The quarry is to the right here. So this, this, and then somehow navigate all of this down? I guess so. I'm kind of glad that I don't have to drag concrete slabs out of the quarry. I will fear for the day when I actually have to get stuff out of here, not just pull stuff in. So this trailer is not completely pushing me. Oh god, no, no. Easy, easy, easy. Okay, so what's the downwards path here? So I have to go all around and then head down, right? Can I do something? Uh, yeah, I guess I can go via the right path here. Do I have time to turn? I don't think so. Come on, go back. Uh, yeah, okay, that works. Okay, is this a straight path down that we can take? Well, oh wow, I mean it is, we can, but that's gonna be pretty tough. You know what, I think I'm just gonna go via the long route. We do have a, a long route available here that's more gentle. Decrease down the mountain. Actually, I'm kind of glad um, we gave up on the trailer. We had like this long five-slot uh, trailer last time, last uh, episode, 
and we kind of wanted to do all of it in one go. That was the big project of uh, a Black Mamba, Operation Black Mamba. But I'm kind of glad we went for this uh, more compact frame and with the flatbed. I kind of dreaded. I don't think it would have been possible. It would have been so tough, so very, very tough to do that here with the five slot trailer, semi trailer. Now, the problem is, I'll have to do this horrible turn here without spilling this uh, trailer, which is gonna be interesting. Because I will spill the trailer for sure. Okay, do we have any options here? This is a death trap, and if you spill this, we cannot even get it back up because we do not have the crane with us. So let's um, let's go up here. Please don't spill. Please don't spill. Please don't spill. Let's go up here and see if there's any option for us to turn this around. Again, thankfully the trailer hinges are very generous and very forgiving so we can do horrible things like this okay perfect this is perfect Ooh, ooh. less perfect okay let's drag it upwards ever so slightly and now this trailer is horrible for backing but i'm gonna try my best this flexible axle travel uh, trailer. Okay, let's do this. Okay, perfect. No! No, 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 no. Nope, 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 nope. I said no. Okay. Phew. Back cargo. <laughs> <laughs> Phew. Let's take it very easy, slowly and gently. Okay, that's good enough. That's actually good enough. Let's turn a right here. Let's not tip over the car itself, the truck itself. And there we go. That was how you turn this with ever so slightly more pee in my pants but either way successful oh no 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 okay is there a better option because this looks terrible terribly rocky okay let's stick a left here wow this quarry is ending up being more of a hassle than I thought it would be and this is muddy as hell. Oh gods. That's not, that's not even discussing the issue of fuel, right? Because I'm running out of fuel and I am planning to actually make a, a road back with the concrete slabs from the warehouse. But this probably was the most uh, runabout way for me to actually do this uh, delivery to the quarry. But I can, I can just bet. I mean, I see a semi-trailer here with uh, some oversized cargo and I can just bet that at some point in the future I will have to pick up that huge, huge semi-trailer and deliver it. Okay, come on, you can do this. I know you only have like three wheels maybe on the ground but you can do this are is the trailer stuck no the trailer's fine there were just some rocks impeding my uh hmm. okay those that little that little pebble there that's my problem there we go, as long as we don't scrape the trailer and don't get the wheel stuck, we should be fine. Okay. Perfection. So let's turn off all wheel drive, we really don't need it for this. Let's... Stop, cargo management, deliver this. Ooh, 
Okay, and now we actually have to get this out of here. Okay, is this a better route altogether? Uh, okay, let's give, let's give this a shot. It looks practicable. If we ignore the pebbles. Well, pebbles. Huge ass rocks. Okay, that is a wall. Does not hit any huge rock walls, right? Trader comes after me. Okay, he does. But to be honest, at this point, I don't really care because I have nothing in it. Wow, these, these little rocks just get under everything, don't they? I'd give anything for a little plow on the front of my truck. Just push all these away. Okay, come on. I'm not even certain where the exit is. Is the exit just this one exit? Mm. No, apparently there is an option for me. If I do the entire circle here. Um, should I just risk it? I mean, I don't really have anything to lose. I have to do a wider turn here, but that's not a big deal. Okay, that's... The trailer is really fighting me. Does it? Let's try and see if we can scrape that wall. Whoa. Let's not go that high up, shall we? You are not my scout truck. Okay. Let's go full left and see if this works as we want it to work. We will totally drag that trailer horribly there. All-wheel drive, all-wheel drive. Let's see if that gives us the boost we need. And it does. Just got it off that tiny rock section there. And not only the rocks, but these little... crappy little things. Branches, whatever they are. are actually the cause where we almost lost the horrible... Uh, uh, delivery. When we... We're doing it with the Chevrolet in the woods. I still remember that episode. That's fa that's fantastic, terrifying but fantastic. Okay. That being said, uh, let let's let's return and show we are we doing it on the same side again? No. Let's let's try this side. Maybe it's better. But yeah, for sure this whole area is something that screams uh, my uh, off-road truck. Anything just the um, large rocks and the necessity of having a really high clearance for this. Not something you do with a low clearance uh, thing. Okay, we got out. Let's remove that all wheel drive. I mean, we have 90 liters left, which is enough, but not great. Okay, and we said we're going to be taking the left side, right? We said the right side. The right side was practicable but barely. I'm hoping the left side will be better just because there's more solid ground and if nothing else there's these uh, power lines which we can use to grapple onto. So 
So let's do four wheel drive. Let's stick to auto. And actually, let's try going the other left path. It's between three and the power line here. Oh, okay. Already? We need it? Yeah, we need it. Differential lock on. But yeah, no. We're already having issues. Um, let's pull ourselves on. Oh, wow. What? Are we barely? Okay, that got solved. Easy does it. I think the trailer is causing us more problems than the actual off-road terrain. Take a bit to the left so we don't grapple anything with the trailer. Okay, we're deeping muck, but that's not a problem because we really... Where are we? <laughs> really okay here with the amount of points just because of the dead trees oh are we <laughs> we actually raised that dead tree okay cool okay let's drop it and let's see if we can reach it okay easy can we okay, let's try this That was great. Lose it. Go here, switch to auto, and let's go, go, go. Actually, we need to take a left here. Grab the concrete slabs from the... Um, you know what? I'm thinking of cheating. Are you guys good with me cheating? Yeah, let's, uh, let's cheat. Let's cheat. Let's cheat by going attach trailer. Because the the service hub is pretty far off at this point. So let's cheat by doing something horrible. Uh, we will back up. into here into this trailer store and we will get a fuel carrier trailer and we will go to V we'll go to refuel we'll fuel ourselves all the way up then we'll go to V and uh, no, not V C trailer store and sell the fuel carrier for getting all our money back but now we have a full fuel setup. Again, it's maybe a bit cheating. <laughs> but you know, to be fully honest, I would have totally paid like, I don't know, maybe a thousand bucks for fuel right now. So uh, I'm calling it uh, fair and even. Okay, let's attach this trailer. Oops. And let's grab ourselves two concrete slabs and finish materials order, which was it actually is moving on to about an hour and a half. Contract worth an hour and a half. Okay, a concrete slab, slap it down. Oof, that was loud. And oh, not in the truck, in the trailer. There we go. Thought for a second that um, it gave me the. Not enough space and thought I miscalculated. But apparently not. However, we still need to get all of this to the um, service hub. And all the terrain has been relatively fair, minus that one section there, which I'm hoping will be fine if we stick to the main road. Uh, you know, anything can happen, especially with concrete slabs. I bet these are. Heavy as all hell, so inertia plays a role as well as being uh, uh, easily tippable if you uh, just tilt too much. But for sure, first order of business, we have to get this bridge done. Okay, 
Let's lose all wheel drive. I mean, we can keep all wheel drive. We don't really need to lose it. the half hour mark by this point but I'm just gonna spend it and uh, keep you guys around until uh, we get this delivered who knows what other surprises may be on the road speeds without the all-wheel drive maybe okay now we're reaching the bad spot let's take a bit of a breather see our options here uh okay for sure we have to cross this uh Mm. So yeah, let's Let's cross our fingers and hope this will be fine I mean this it's terribly mucky to the left there, but I'm not seeing any huge issues with the actual road here. I mean, it's not even muddy, it's just uh, off-road. Okay, so that's all good for us. Even if uh, it's terribly uneven. At least we didn't do the mistake we did uh, coming here the first time, and be over cautious and almost dip our entire cargo in the ditch. and get I think like 700 XP or something a fair bit anyway actually 700 XP will level me up to 8 I think okay then Operation Black Mamba with a few little problems and sidesteps is now officially complete. Oh, truck is fully repaired. Oh, so it's repaired if I actually just entered this? Cool. Anyways, cargo management, materials order, 730 XP and 5,000 credits. That's all the people around here that owe you a real little gratitude for the work you're doing. Keep it up. Ooh, wow. That is Operation Black Mamba completed. How much XP do I really need? Uh, factory for a bit, uh, around 300 something for level 8, level 8. Either way, uh, this episode has been running a bit over long, so I'm just gonna bid you guys farewell. If you guys like this, uh, series, if you guys like this episode, please click a like, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff, and I will see you guys, uh, in the next one.